runs. Uh, obviously, the, the run in the first half, the six minutes or seven minutes in the first half when we played poorly is difference in the game. Um, guys fought back. We did a lot of good things in the second half and had opportunities to win. Um, cut it to four with four minutes and had plenty of opportunities, got stops, had chances. We didn't have anybody make a big play at the end of a game to, to win a game like this. Questions? Was that the most disappointing part, Coach, was the fact the most disappointing part was getting down 20. Uh, I credit them for making shots. Um, that's the most, you know, that's the one area where they've improved the most. And, uh, you know, my team right now is a little too emotional. We're just, you know, we're not as steady and just we become a little unnerved too quickly and our highs are high and our lows are low. And, and good teams don't do that. They're more even keel and they, you know, they're going to get up when things go good, but when things don't go as well, they're not going to be as low. Our guys are just a little bit too emotional that way. And and, uh, and you've seen it in several games where we've had lulls and, and we can't get out of it. Um, you know, the last four minutes of the first half were really important. Our guys played better. We finally got our got our wits about us again and, and played well the last four minutes. So we went into halftime fine and regrouped and and came out in the second half and played, you know, fine. We just tried to – told our guys, get, get it to the eight-minute mark with a chance, and uh, we certainly did that. Not a lot of points there at the end of the game, last four minutes. From either team. Not just us, the other team too now. you think you ran out of gas a little bit? Uh, we might have ran out of gas a little bit, but at the end of the day, you know, we had some shots that are a couple good shots that you got to make. Uh, we missed, you know, free throws. Um, you know, we missed a lot of free throws. We missed free throws during that stretch of getting down 20. We had, I know, two, maybe three front ends of one-on-ones. We missed the first shot. Like, we were on 18 forever. Um, you know, South Carolina's a good team. They're big and strong. It's hard to score inside against them. They front everything, and guys get open. They're not open for long. And because their guards are so big that there's and there's enough pressure on the ball that you know, the, the guys can't see and the timing is, is such that, you know, they force you to drive it and make plays off the drive or you're going to get some threes and you got to shoot the ball well. And our, team's a, our team is kind of a three-point shooting team this year more than anything. And, you know, we eight for 26 isn't going to do it. I mean, it, it needed to be a little – we needed 10, obviously, um, in a game like this. Or, you know, we needed to be eight for 22 or something like that. It was just too many misses. Um, you know, the rebounding hurt us in the first half. Uh, I thought they were – but that's going to happen against them. They're so aggressive. They're going to probably beat you on the boards. It just can't be as much. You know, we had 10 turnovers. That was an issue coming into the game, worrying about that. But we really handled the ball fine. We ran enough good things uh, to be fine offensively. You know, 23 for 63, just not enough Not enough makes. I know you're concerned about the off their offensive rebounding. But, you know, you guys, you had more rebounds than they did on offense. There's a silver lining like that. Well, there's a little desperation, and certainly when you're down, you're going to send more guys, and you're going to be a little more aggressive. Um, and it, you know, paid off. I thought JB's activity level was good, and, you know, he was a problem for them at times. Um, but, you know, not enough other other guys did good things. How do you, you don't get about, excited? How do you go about trying to settle for highs and lows? Without the Just talk about it, really. Talk about it. You know, it's hard to simulate. That's not practice. That you can't simulate that in practice. I mean, you just got to talk about it, and your guys got to – they've got to do it more than a coach. It's it's harder – you know, it's the guys out on the court. And I've had this conversation with our team in the before we started the season. I told them that that's, that's got to change. Like, it's got to come more from our players right now. Even last year for a while, you know, Rod was a quiet guy, and so he, he was a good leader by example, but he never really vocalized a lot of what – what he needed to vocalize as a leader. We've got some guys that will say some things, but we're emotionally just too up and down, and it's it's problematic in our play. We lose our confidence quickly. Um, you know, by the time we get it back, we've already given the team 10 or 12 points most of the time. Coach, I know you don't get excited about moral victory, but does it tell you something about the character of the team that came back and won the second half? I think? Not really. You talk about your southern defense that seemed to give them a lot of problems. Yeah, I think, you know, sometimes in the media, you guys make too much out of stuff like that. People will be like, well, why didn't they just play zone the whole game, all that kind of stuff. Um, you know, some of it's you have to understand the game. It's like if we would have done that in the first half, the South Carolina kids would have been more aggressive. Like as when you play with a 16-point lead, 
and the lead is dwindling slowly, like the pressure shifts to you. So those three-point shots aren't quite as easy to make as they are when you're in the middle of a run and everybody, uh, one, this guy makes one, that guy makes one, we're in rhythm, we're shooting it in, it's first half. The longer the game goes, there's more anxiety on the shooter. And our zone was good. We were active. We, you know, Landry did a good job of bothering him around the rim. We blocked some shots. I thought we got to shooters. We contested better. So, I, I, I mean, our, our defense was good. But some of it was South Carolina probably got a little passive. Um, the longer the game went, they got a little passive. Um, and so that probably helped our zone a little bit as well. So I'm sorry, one more time. Just looking ahead to, to Georgia. Georgia. What about it? Just looking ahead, just the challenges. I, that I don't know. I'm, I'm not, I'll worry about Georgia tomorrow. I'm still going to watch tonight's tape and all that. And, you know, Coach Fox does a great job with the Georgia team, though. Great guards. Tournament team last year. It'll be a challenge going on the road, but I'm more worried about our team than anybody else. Go ahead. They just have older players now. I mean, they have older players. They're, they've start three seniors and a junior and a top 50 freshman that everybody in the country wanted. Um, so that, you know, they have big, strong bodies. And their shooting has improved, so that's really helping them. You know, they got some guys now that make more threes. Um, you know, they're going to have a good season. Thank you.